Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Urinary. Today, I'm going to show you how to crochet a mini leprechaun hat for St. Patrick's Day. If English isn't your first language, you can click on this gear on the video and scroll through to find your preferred dialect. This easy-to-follow step-by-step crochet tutorial is also available in both right and left-handed, so please check the description box below to find the version that suits you best. This mini St. Patrick's Day hat is so cute and won't make you too hot if you live in a warmer climate. Plus, it attaches with these small barrettes, but you could also use bobby pins or whatever you have on hand. This mini leprechaun hat is an amazing pattern for practicing your stitches. We do almost all of them, and it doesn't use much yarn. Scraps will be just fine. I'm using this green yarn for the hat. Any size 4 worsted weight or 10 ply if you're in Australia will work just fine. And scraps for the belt and the buckle. I'm also using a 5mm crochet hook. You will need a pair of scissors, a needle for sewing in your ends, and two small barrettes. Here are the timestamps. You can jump back into where you left off and let's get started. So we're going to start by making a slip knot, any which way you normally do. You don't have to leave much of a tail. We're going to work over it and cut it off. And just slide that onto your hook. And chain three. One, two, and three. If you wanted to do a magic ring, you could start with a magic ring instead. And we're just going to slip stitch into that very first chain we made right on top of the slip knot. So just pop your hook in doesn't matter where. Get yourself situated. You want a little U-shape underneath your hook and you want to be working over your tail. So I just hold my tail along with that U-shape and slip stitch to form a ring. I'm holding it open with my finger and thumb and chain two. One and two. That does not count as a stitch. It's just getting us some height. Wrap your yarn. We're going to do 12 double crochets into the center of the ring going over our tail. So there is one two, three. You can pause the video and keep working along, making your 12 double crochets into the center, working over your tail. If you run out of room, you can just grab your first stitches and your last stitches and just slide them apart to give yourself some more room along the center of that ring. We want all of our stitches laying side by side. And then count to make sure you have 12. So our chain doesn't count as anything. So this little bit here doesn't count. We're counting our real double crochets. So there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now we're going to slip stitch into the top of that first real double crochet right there. So just pop your hook in and slip stitch to join. And chain 2. One and two. Now into the very same stitch, right there, we are going to be doing two double crochets. So wrap your yarn and two double crochets into that very same stitch. One and two. And into the next stitch and each stitch all the way around, we are going to be doing two double crochets into each. So two double crochets into the next stitch, one and two, and now pause the video and keep working around two double crochets into each stitch and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. If you want to follow along with a written pattern, all of my patterns are written in plain English and available on my website, secretyarnery.com. When you get back to where we started, we have our last stitch left right here. So just make your last two double crochets into that last stitch. One and two. If I'm going too fast or too slow, you can just hit that little gear icon on the screen and slow me down or speed me up. Now again, we're going to slip stitch to the top of that first real double crochet right here. So pop your hook in and slip stitch. To start the next round, chain two one and two and now into the very same stitch right there one double crochet 
and into the next stitch, we're gonna do two double crochets. So we're gonna do an increase every second stitch. So two double crochets, and into the next stitch, one double crochet. So two into the next, one and two, and one into the stitch after that. So you can pause the video, keep working around doing two double crochets into one stitch. And one double crochet into the next, all the way around, and I'll meet you when we get back closer to our join. When you get back to where we started, or almost in this, to that last stitch, not where the chain is, but the stitch right before, that's where we're gonna do our last increase. So two double crochets into that last real stitch. And then we are going to slip stitch into the top of the real double crochet to join. So just pop your hook in and slip stitch to join. And that finishes the top of our hat. To start the side of our hat, chain two, one and two, and now we're gonna do back post double crochets for this round. So we're just gonna insert our hook from behind after the chain and before that stitch, and then we're gonna go back out. So we're just gonna put our hook just like that around that first real double crochet. So wrap your yarn and from the back, Poke your hook up in front and just push that first double crochet down so your hook will go out right after it. Just like that. And pull your yarn through and we're just gonna do our double crochet. So instead of doing it into the stitch, we're gonna do it around that double crochet. Just like that. So wrap your yarn in front of the next double crochet and out right after and do your double crochet. And we're gonna do that all the way around. So one back post double crochet around each stitch, all the way around this circle. Just one back post double crochet around each stitch. So you can pause the video and work your way around. One back post double crochet around each stitch, all the way around, and I'll meet you when you get back to where you started. When you get back to where you started, it looks a little bit funny like this, but don't worry about it. It will come into shape. Now we wanna look again for that very first double crochet we made. We wanna slip stitch right there to join. So we're gonna slip stitch to the top of the first, well, it's actually a back post double crochet, to join and chaining two. One and two. Now into our very first stitch, right there, one double crochet. And into the next two stitches, this stitch here and this stitch here. We're gonna start our double crochet, but we're gonna leave the last two loops on our hook. We're not gonna finish it. Wrap your yarn and start a double crochet into the next stitch. So you'll have three loops on your hook, just finish those together. So that is a double crochet decrease or a DC two tog. In to the next stitch, one double crochet. You can pop your hat facing the right way around if you feel like it. Now into each of the next two stitches, we are going to do a decrease. So start a double crochet into the next stitch, leaving it on your hook and start a double crochet into the next stitch. And we're just gonna finish those two stitches together. So wrap your yarn and take off all three loops. So for this round, we're gonna be doing one double crochet and then a decrease. So start a double crochet in one stitch and start a double crochet in the next stitch and then finish them together. So that is the repeat for this round. You can pause the video one double crochet into one stitch and then a decrease into the next two. 
So starting a double crochet and into the next stitch, starting a second double crochet, wrapping and taking off all three loops. So pause the video, keep working around one double crochet and then a decrease into the next two stitches all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When you get back closer to where we started, you'll have your two stitches left. We are doing a decrease into those last two stitches. And we're going to slip stitch to the top of that first real double crochet to join. So we're going to slip stitch right over there to join. So just pop your hook in and slip stitch. And now the next two rows are just regular double crochets. So start with a chain two and one double crochet into each stitch all the way along. So you can pause the video, keep working along. You want to do two rows of double crochet same way we have been doing, starting with your chain two and then one double crochet into each stitch. And when you come back, we're going to be slip stitching right to the top of that first real double crochet to join. So pause the video, work around twice with two rows of double crochet, and I'll meet you back. So there is our two rows of double crochet. Now we're going to do a row of single crochet. So chain one and one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So the single crochets help keep shape or help our hat keep shape. It's a bit of a tighter stitch, so it'll help our hat not be too sloppy. So pause the video, one single crochet into each stitch all the way around, and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. Now when you get back to where we started, we're going to slip stitch again to the top of that very first single crochet we made. So it's right over there. So just pop your hook in and slip stitch and chain two. One and two. Now we're going to do half double crochets. So wrap your yarn and one half double crochet into each stitch. So you can pause the video, keep working along, one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When we get back to where we started, one half double crochet into that last stitch and we're going to slip stitch again to the top of the very first stitch we made right there. So pop your hook in and slip stitch to join. And that finishes the side of our hat. Now we're going to do the brim of the hat. So we're going to start again with a chain two, one and two, and wrap your yarn. We're going to be doing front post double crochets now. So ahead of the chain, we're always ignoring that chain. We're going to go down before that first double crochet and up after it and do your double crochet. Now before the next stitch, we're just going to go right into that space with one double crochet. So one double crochet into the space and wrap your yarn one front post double crochet around the stitch. Now into the space before the next stitch, one double crochet and around the next stitch, one front post double crochet. into the space before the stitch, one double crochet, and around the next stitch, one front post double crochet. So you can pause the video and keep working around, one double crochet into the space before the stitch, and one front post double crochet around the stitch, And just keep going all the way around, making this cute little brim of our hat. I will meet you when we get back closer to where we started. When you get back to where we started, our last stitch is right there, so make sure you do your front post double crochet around it. And your double crochet before the stitch, 
into that space, and that lines us up just perfect, ignoring our chain. So now slip stitch to the top of that first stitch to join. Just like that, and chain two. One and two. And now we're just going to be doing one double crochet into each stitch all the way around. So into the same stitch, one double crochet, and one double crochet into each stitch all the way around. So pause the video and keep working along. One double crochet into each stitch. And I will meet you when we get back closer to where we started. Now when we get back closer to where we joined, our last double crochet into that last stitch. And I'm going to join with an invisible join just because it's the brim of our hat. You could slip stitch and do a chain one to secure your yarn if you want to, but I just want to show you how super easy it is to do an invisible join. So don't be scared about it. Go ahead and cut your yarn before we join and pull your yarn up and through before we join. Just like that. So thread your needle. And using the blunt end of your needle or a blunt tip needle, we're going to be going in same as we would if we had a crochet hook. If we're going to slip stitch, we'd be going into that very same stitch. Just go in with your needle and keep an eye on where your yarn is coming from. This loop right there. We're going to go back down into that loop. That's all we did. That is an invisible join. Can you imagine? It's so simple. So pull that a little bit more snug. We want it to look like another stitch. See, just like that. Nice and flat so you don't have that bump of a chain one. And now just sew in your tail. And there is your cute little hat. If you sewed over your tail in the center, you can snip that little tail off as well. And there is your super cute mini leprechaun hat. And now we're ready to start our buckle. To make your buckle, make a slip knot any which way you normally do. You can leave a short enough tail, we're just going to work over it. Pop that onto your hook and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to go into our back loops. So just roll those pretty little V's to the side. And we're going to be looking, our first back loop is right underneath the working yarn. So there is one, two, three, here is number four. We're going to be working into that fourth back loop right there. Wrap your yarn and into that fourth back loop, just slide it onto your hook. One double crochet. And one double crochet into each of the last two chains. One and our last back loop right there. If working into your back loops is hard, you could work into any part of your stitch. It's not a big deal. So that counts as our first four double crochets, just like that. Chain one and now into the space right around that stitch, we're going to do three single crochets. So just into the space. You can work over your tail if you want to. One, two, and three. Chain three. One, two, three. And one more single crochet into the space. Just like that, we're making our little cute buckle. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. One and two. And one single crochet into the space. Chain three. One, two, three. And into the same space right into there, three single crochets. One, two, three. Chain three, one, two, three, and one more single crochet into the space. 
one single crochet into each of those stitches. One and two and one single crochet into the space and chain three. One, two, and three. Now we're gonna go ahead, cut your yarn again. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and thread your needle. I'm gonna do another invisible join. Same spot, so that very first single crochet blunt side of your needle. Just bring it through and back into the chain, same spot we were going. There we are. Just shrink that down. We want it to look cute on all sides. <laughs> Amazing. And now sew in your tail. And there is your cute little buckle. And now we are ready to start our belt. For this tutorial, I'm not gonna be doing the black yarn because it'll be really hard for you to see what I'm up to. So I will just use some blue for the tutorial, but you wanna be doing this part in black. So now to do the belt, we're gonna leave a bit of a tail because we need to sew it together when we're done. So leave about a four inch tail, make a slip knot and pop it onto your hook and chain 30. One, two, three, 29 and 30. So there is our chain. Now into the second chain from our hook, it doesn't matter where we're going in. You could do the back loops if you feel like it. If you're using black yarn, literally anywhere. So skipping one chain and going into the second, we're gonna make one single crochet into each chain all the way along. So one single crochet into each chain. All the way along, we're just making our little belt. So pause the video and keep working along. One single crochet into each chain, all the way back along, and I'll meet you at the end of your row. So at the end of your row, just chain one to secure your yarn, and then cut your yarn. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And there is your belt. Now take your buckle and there is a right side and a wrong side of your belt. The pretty side of your V's facing forward is considered the pretty side. So pop that up through the first part of your buckle and down into the next side. Just like that, so now your buckle is on your belt. Now we are ready to stitch this together. You could put it on your hat and then stitch it, but it's just as easy to do it now. So thread your needle. Make sure your belt isn't twisted and just stitch it. I'm going to stitch it closed like that. See the good thing about black yarn, you can't see anything. <laughs> but all we're doing is just joining it end to end as tidily as we can. We don't need to use both of these tails, but they're there in case, usually in case we cut one too short without thinking about it. So already that is pretty much joined. So I'm just going to sew in my tail. and sew in your other tail. And there is your cute little belt. So just grab your hat. Now you'll see our join is on a little bit of an angle down here. So that is the back of our hat. So we want our buckle to be at the front of our hat and the join of our belt to also be at the back. So just pop it on and get it down where you like it to be, just at the bottom of our hat. 
And there is our mini leprechaun hat. So cute! Now your hat is ready to put on your attachment. So you can use a bobby pin or these little barrettes. Either way, you would just slide it underneath one of these strands of two stitches. Just like that. Pop it in. And then the other side, you would do the same. So one strand of one stitch and one strand of the next. Just slide it on in. One kind of close to the top. And then just slide it right onto your hair and they pop right down to connect. I'd love to see yours. You can tag me over on Instagram at Secret Yarnery or use hashtag SYFever. I'm waiting for you in that video right there and stay hooked.